You ready, Shane? Yes, you can. Oh, it's going to be nice. Right, guys so we're gonna talk a little bit about the headers and one of the most annoying parts about getting headers now the reason why I'm making a video like this is so that anybody out there that decides to get long tube or short tube headers will uh, be prepared for this little tiny nuisance but before I jump into what this minor thing is Let's take a look at the intake temperatures because there's a challenge being cast out by Daytona 5.7 liter. Welcome back. So, the most annoying part about getting headers is the exhaust note of when the um, four-cylinder mode pops in. Uh, if anybody has an exhaust and thinks that it's annoying with just a catback exhaust, wait till you get headers. The stock manifolds do a really good job of bottling up those sound waves. Uh, now they are, you know, restrictive and they they do not help with performance but when you get new shorty or long tube headers they're going to be a lot lighter they're um, the material isn't going to you know bottle up those sound waves as good as those logs uh, that come on the RT so when the MDS actually kicks in uh, you're gonna hear a, a very annoying exhaust note and it is something that uh, I thought the headers were leaking or something like that and my performance shop was like I think you're cracking up you know but just be aware that once you put headers on there's going to be some weird noises coming from uh, the exhaust uh, you know the engine now the reason why I'm bringing this up right now is because the J green tune actually um, removed the four-cylinder mode within the car and I do not hear it anymore it is completely absent and the reason why I wasn't really alarmed with it was because when the car was not when, when the car was running on all eight cylinders the the um, that annoying pitch was was not around and um, you know so now I no longer have it and I'm very happy obviously the gas mileage in this car is gonna go it's gonna tank because you know that that four-cylinder mode say what you want about it it definitely um, you know keeps you from living at the pump but I have to admit without having it on the overall uh, driving experience is much better uh, not listening to that that uh, that weird noise that the MDS creates it's just it's so much better so uh, just a friendly heads up for anybody that's looking into headers that uh, you can expect some kind of weird noise that sounds like a leak and it's not it's just the when the four cylinder mode kicks in uh, because the the headers do not uh, bottle up the sound waves like the stock the stock manifolds uh, you're gonna hear a very annoying little pitch and um, it was a really good idea to see, how, you know, what the intake setups are doing, all the different intake setups that are on these cars. What a schmo! You're a schmo! You d 
Dingleberry. A great challenge. This way, eh, me challenge that was cast out by, uh, you know, the Corsa is almost like a, a short Ram Air, but it does have a box to block off. <coughs> Basically, to see how. All right, I'm gonna put it back in sport mode. And look at that, a Daytona. <laughs>